ladies and gentlemen. Many of you might remember who this is. This is Marilyn Mosby. And she was on trial and found guilty for perjury. So apparently what she did was she took money out of a restricted account and she used um, the pandemic as an excuse for needing the money. And then what she did was purchase two vacation homes in Florida. So after hours of deliberation on Thursday, a jury found Marilyn Mosby guilty of both federal perjury counts. Jurors returned to federal court in Greenbelt at 8.30 a.m. Thursday, which is today, after receiving the case late Wednesday afternoon following instructions from the judge and almost three hours of closing arguments, the jury took up two counts of perjury and announced its verdict shortly after 4 p.m. today. While walking out of the federal court, Mosby says, I'm blessed. I have nothing else to say. Neither her defense attorneys nor the prosecutors offered any comments. All 12 members of the jury also declined to comment. So I have a video from WBAL out of Baltimore that I'm going to show you. I'm blessed. I have nothing else to say. Ms. Mosby, were you surprised by the verdict? That was the extent of the reaction from former city state's attorney Marilyn Mosby. Shortly after, a jury found her guilty on all counts. Two perjury charges that the jury deliberated for about six hours before deciding on. Any comment on the verdict? Mr. Wida, what are the next steps? Mosby's two federal public defenders had no comment for reporters, and her third defense attorney, Lucius Outlaw, ran away from our camera when we tried to talk to him. Was it a surprise that it took, it was about six hours of deliberations, there was no questions that we know of? The verdict of victory for the federal government this comes nearly two years after Mosby was charged in a four count indictment. Mr. Zelensky, this was a big victory. Do you have any comments? Mr. Delaney? But prosecutors declined to speak with us on their way out of court, and a spokesperson for the U.S. Attorney's Office briefly explained why. We are not, no. We still have two pending. Can you give us any information about the next step scheduling, scheduling or anything? conference. Do we know when that's going to be? No, she no. didn't schedule it. So a telephone conference to learn more about the sentencing date for the convictions today and the two charges pending that you heard mention of just now. Those are the two mortgage fraud charges. That is Marilyn Mosby's second separate federal criminal trial. The two charges, the mortgage fraud charges and the perjury charges were originally part of a four count indictment from January 2020. Earlier this fall, the judge split the four charges into two different trials, moved the whole thing here to Greenbelt. Today, Mosby was convicted on the two perjury counts. The two mortgage fraud charges are up next. The government will work to prove to that jury that Mosby used the $90,000 that she illegally took out of that restricted retirement account to purchase two vacation homes in Florida and that she lied on the paperwork for that purchase. Reporting live from Greenbelt tonight, I'm Kate Amara, WBAL TV 11 News. Kate, thank you. We also called up with Governor Westmore just a few minutes ago. Here's what he had to say about today's verdict. No matter uh, where you fall on this, this is a uh, this is a tough day for the city, right? and uh, and I'm just praying for her. I'm praying for her kids. From the indictment nearly two years ago to the verdict today, we have the full timeline of Marilyn Mosby's perjury case on the WBAL website and on the TV11 mobile app. Okay. You know, many of us remember Marilyn Mosby for going after the officers that were responsible for the death of Freddie Gray. And y'all, I know y'all remember Freddie Gray. And also there were some officers that had planted drugs um, 
on the side of a house. And, you know, and I think we all did videos on that one because that was a pretty big story. And she went after those officers as well. So let's get into the rest of this story. So it, it's not shocking. Whenever you're any type of prosecutor or DA and you go after cops, it, sooner or later, they're going to try to do something to you. Same thing happened to a DA down there in Florida that Ron DeSantis fired. Y'all remember that too. So anyway, the former Baltimore City attorney, state attorney, indicted in January of 2022. And I remember that because I did a video on her indictment on perjury and mortgage fraud charges. So she already went through today. She got her verdict for the perjury and the mortgage fraud is going to be a separate trial which are going to trial separately. Mosby faced a maximum sentence of five years in federal prison for each of the counts of perjury. So, you know, you saw in the video, Wes Moore, um, that was speaking to the news and, you know, he said, pray for her kids. And I do agree with that. So what happened? She withdrew. $90,000 from an account. Uh, it was a retirement account from the city and the account had restrictions on it. So what she did was a hardship withdrawal from the account in the amount of $90,000. And they said that she did it for fraudulent reasons. Like she gave a reason and that really was not the reason so she said it was for the pandemic, you know, and then she turned around and bought two properties down in Florida. So that's why they decided to go after her. So the defense said that she didn't lie because her private travel business didn't take a financial hit after she, uh, you know, sunk into the money. So they had opening statements Monday and the government's first witness testified and the government rested its case Tuesday. And by Thursday today, you know, they found her guilty. So, you know, um, I don't know. I, I always have misgivings, especially when cops have a problem with a DA because they'll try to go after them for all of the wrongdoing and dirty policing that they do. And then ultimately that person ends up either getting kicked out of office or they are, you know, going through all kinds of legal battles. You know, they always try to find a way to go after people like her. So, as you see, she had two attorneys um, defending her in the case, and um, she lost money and future profits because it devastated her business. The case may just come down to whether jurors believe or they don't believe. So, you know, I guess because she bought the two properties down in Florida, if she's found guilty, she won't have those properties anymore. More than likely, the government is probably going to relinquish um, those properties. They're going to take them away from her and give it to someone else. Somebody else within the government will ultimately end up with those properties. So they're saying the case may come down to whether juries just believe Marilyn or not. The defense answer yes, and the government says no, while both claim the evidence is on their side. So Marilyn Mosby's trial was postponed seven times, several times from April of 2022 and uh, through this year. 
after a federal judge allowed all six of Mobi's uh, defense lawyers to withdraw from the case. A public defender was appointed and the trial was again moved, this time to October 2023. So, you know, I will keep up with this because I would like to know what, you know, I guess because she bought the homes with money she should not have withdrawn. So I, I guess that's the mortgage fraud. Who knows? But I'm definitely going to keep up with this one to see how she fares through this entire thing. So y'all, please tell me what you think about this video. You know, it's a shame to see something like this, in my opinion. Um, you know, I, it, what kind of restrictions were on the account where you can't touch the money? You know, I've had accounts like that, but eventually the longer you have the account, you do have the ability to go in and out of your account if you want to. But y'all tell me what you think about this story. They got her um, guilty on two counts of perjury and now she's going to have to return back to court. Now, I don't know whether it's going to be this year or sometime in 2024. It does not say in this particular article that comes out of Baltimore. It doesn't say anything about the, the trial for the mortgage fraud coming up this year. So I'm going to assume it must be um, perhaps sometime in 2024. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.